Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to show you how to calculate J index in Excel, where J index is the unique largest number such that the top J articles received together at least J square citations. If you are writing a research paper, then do cite this paper published in 2006 by Egg, Theory and Practice of the J index. In this paper, J index was originally introduced. So we are going to use this data set to calculate G index. In the last video, we had used this data set to calculate H index for different years. So in this video, we will use this data set to calculate G index for different years. I'm sharing the link to this data set in the description box so that you can work along with me. Now we are mainly interested in these two columns cited by and rank cited by column contains the number of citations attributed to each paper and I have arranged this in the descending order so that the paper with the largest number of citations comes first and rank represents the ranks given to the articles or papers on the basis of number of citations. Now we can use a simple logical formula to pinpoint H index in our data. Press equal to select this cell I2 press less than or equal to sign and select this cell H2. Now this logical formula gives us the output of true because this number is less than this number 237. One is less than 237. Now let's copy this logical formula to all the other cells. Now look at this value where this value changes from true to false. That means the rank is greater than the number of citation this value changes to false and the value just above this false value is our edge index that is 25 is our edge index 25 is the number of articles that have received at least 25 citations each this is our edge index now let's see this for different year apply the same formula go to the select the cell i2 press less than equal to h2 this value is true copy it to other cells. Now let's look at this value. This value changes to false in this cell. The value just above this is 26. So 26 are 26 is our H index. 26 is the number of articles that have received at least 26 citations each. Now let's see it for the G index, how we can calculate G index. For G index, First, we have to calculate the cumulative frequency of citations. So label this column as CF of citations. Now apply this formula equal to sum. Select this cell H2, press F4 to fix this cell, press colon H2. Now copy, copy this formula to the whole column. Now we have to square the column of ranks. Therefore label this new column as rank square. Now press equal to select this cell I2, raise it to the power of 2, copy this formula to the whole column. Now we have to apply the same logic that we had applied in the case of H index. Press equal to select this value L2 less than equal to this value. Now the output is true and wherever this output changes from true to false, then the value just above that false value is our G index. Okay, look at this row. The value changes here from true to false. Therefore, the value just above this row is our G index. So our G index is 50 and it means that 50 is the unique largest number that have received at least the square of 50 citations each. We can see this. The square of 50 is 2500 and the number of citations that have been accumulated in these 50 articles is 2536. Therefore, 50 is the G index and it means that 50 articles have received at least 
50 square citations each. Now let's uh, check it for another year. We have to apply the same procedure CF of citations press equal to sum select this value press F4 press colon copy it to the whole column and then we have to square the whole uh, whole rank column select this cell I2 square it copy it to the whole column now apply the same formula Uh, here it changes from true to false therefore the value just above this value just above this false row is our G index therefore in the case of year 2021 51 is the G index it means that 51 articles have received at least 51 square citations in the cumulative manner combined when, when the citations of these all 51 articles are combined, they are at least more than 51 square citations. So this was our J index.